Ask that because I'm like, who, wait, what who, is it different? Who, howdy? Oh, hey, hi, good of you. Good. Pretty good, pretty good. Ready to fight some stuff because you annihilated some peeps. Oh, that's right. Wait, you I guys got a dragon flying, flying around. Oh, I'm down here. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you've only, you, I mean, you've only seen one. Jim, just one? <laughs> that's like, Jim's like, that's just like breakfast combat for me. Hmm. <laughs> I see, I see. I'm taking notes. I think we're all pretty inebriated, though. Except. Except for Nami. Except Nami. Yep, er everybody but Nami. See, I'm the smart one. See, you guys should have known. Very true. You should have known. It wasn't going to be all peaceful. 
the DM you lured fell us. In, you fell into the trap. Yep, false sense of security. I mean, you've been, you guys have been like drunk before, and it's been okay. I haven't I haven't? No, they they were sloppy drunks. <laughs> they were sloppy drunks. Come on, <laughs> you don't need to sugarcoat things. So I'm, I'm just I'm nodding. To... I, I admit. Yep, 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 yep. So I'm trying to remember in Greenest when you guys had the drinking contest with the guards. Jem won that, right? But Nami got pretty drunk too, right? Yeah, but I know how to hold my liquor. See, there's <laughs> a difference. I was not a sloppy drunk. So you're saying that that you're saying that uh, Jem just needs more practice. Uh, yes. No, I don't know because she just annihilated a whole bunch of people. Maybe she needs to drink more. <laughs> your superpower exactly but yeah i haven't drank in such a i really haven't you know drink in a long time oh we should invent a D, D drink with uh you know coffee and alcohol that probably doesn't Wait. exist in, in our world. wouldn't it be coffee and fireball Oh my gosh. We'll we'll do a drunk stream. We'll all stream. <laughs> <laughs> every time someone Wee! dies. Die. <laughs> oh wait a minute. No, no, not every time because I'd be dead all the time. Never mind. <laughs> we'll have to put some other role that doesn't in involve me dying. But uh please yeah, don't. so let's go let's go in the back. All right. Let's go back and and recap. I'm ready to start this since we uh, we have kind of shortened times these days. Yep. So we are uh, jumping back into our adventure, where our our party spent a a night of uh, a joy, pretty much a, a joyous occasion, I guess you could say, um, where they were battling each other in noodle eating and drinking. They thought they were going to just have a nice rest and just sort of uh, <clears throat> sober up, I, I suppose. And as they managed to get in a couple hours of sleep, the town was attacked by the dragon cult. And for the first time in a while, you guys actually have a dragon flying overhead the town. The dragon has made one pass across the town, and you notice that it's not breathing fire, but instead it is breathing some kind of cold magic. Now, because of a uh, oh boy, a little bit of a scouting chance, you got to see a group coming from the south. And so you guys essentially got into some houses and some trees and sort of set up a little ambush as the cultist group from the south <coughs> charged at you and you begin to engage the the group at that point uh jim managed to initiate a giant tidal wave that swept across the southern area killing multiple cultists and wounding several others that's my applause and so we're going to pick up things right there. So boop, you're boop. essentially in the middle of of combat dealing with these guys. And we're actually back up to, to Jim's turn. Uh, I think I finished the turn last week. So it would be Sigurd's turn. Okay. I think. I mean, I don't mean to correct you. I'm sorry. No, it's fine with me. Kidley makes a note. Uh-huh. Jim corrected me on stream. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know what? We can, <laughs> we can, we can actually, we can actually look here. <laughs> it, was, it's, it is Sigurd's time or turn. Yeah, yeah. He didn't, he didn't go last week. He, he was like, "Did you skip me?" And this was earlier, but oh yeah. And then I noticed we stopped right when it was his turn. I was like, "No." Yeah. Sorry. Well, looking back at don't the hate log, me. 
I can see where all of the acolytes went. And they're right before Jim. And then I'm not sure. I'm not. The, then in the chat it says acid splash then magic missile so i don't know if that was something you were messing around with afterwards uh oh yeah actually... no no i was messing around with that today that's um i was yeah i was playing with okay. that today so if, i mean based off of that it's gems oh no i got i got skipped like in the rotation line, I got moved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he he got put to the bottom for some reason. Okay. I, yeah. I think I got I think I got moved because I got the the sneak uh, the uh, surprise round ish type of attack, and then Jem went. Because we had the same initiative. Mm -hmm. So okay. I think I got moved or something of the sort. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, Anyways, uh, I think the white one still has damage. The one next to Reiko? Remember yeah, that one took damage, yes. Alright, I'm going to... Is it within five feet of Reiko? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and shoot it then. Okay. Um, disadvantage, yes? Yeah. Uh, does a 14 hit? Oop, I gotta grab my sheet. <laughs> uh, a 14, yes, is a hit. Okay. Uh, do I have, uh, since Ray goes within five feet, I do get sneak attack? Well, before you do that, you fire that arrow, goes across the field, hits him, and he drops. Okay. Um... Uh, as a, I'm going to move to the other side of the roof and take a bonus action to hide. So make a stealth check. Okay. So that's a 15 on that. Okay. Um, that'll be the end of my turn. So Sigurd uh, ordered the guards to try and build some kind of barricade. And so basically on their turn here, between the two houses, they've taken some some stuff that was kind of around the houses, and they're, like, trying to build up, like, a little bit of a barricade uh, between, well, those two houses. And I'm actually skipping the Acolyte's turn because I accidentally did those guys out of order. So it's up to Nami. Oh, okay. Um... Damn, I thought I had some time here. Um, hmm. I was thinking about the ring only does one, right? It only hits one person, correct? Just correct. like my just like my guiding bolt does, right? Okay. Um You know, one thing you could do. In this situation, according to the Ring of the Ram, it'll hit the dude and it'll knock them back. Mm -hmm. So you could, in theory, knock one guy into another to try and cause extra damage. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. We um, could we could figure out how that works. Okay. Well, if that's the case... Um, and it has what is the radius? Let's see. I have two charges too, right? Um, yep. I'm just gonna write. Uh, well, does it say what the radius is though? On it, like uh, it far? should. Wait, it should be like a long enough distance, right? Seems like yeah, you wouldn't put your ring up, and they have to be like right in front of your face. Yeah. Let me bring up your. Let me bring up your sheet here real quick. I think we put an explanation somewhere. Uh, can I ask? Oh, so Guiding Bolt says it's damage 4d6. That's higher than 
two D eight, right? Yes. Okay. Well, potentially. Okay. Is it a stronger attack? Unless, I mean, unless it does it head or something. All right. Ring of the Ram is sixty feet. Ooh. Ooh. No. And and just to kind of show you where I saw that at, like in your inventory where it says Ring of the Ram, if you hover over that, on the right side there's a very tiny little gray dot. Yes. And if you click on that uh, dot, it it expands it with the info. Gotcha. Two D ten. That's not very much, is it? It could be potentially twenty. Okay. Um all right then. Um Okay, so I'm going to do this. I am going to move. Can I move for free or no? How yes. How does that work? Oh, okay. Yep. So I'm just going to come. I'm still hidden because there's a bush right here, right? So I'm a little bit, uh, you know. And I'm actually going to do, I'm going to shoot at this guy, the red guy. Okay. And I'm going to shoot. I, I want to use my ring of the ram. Wait, it didn't click. Oh, wait. I have to click it. Where do I click it? All right, so are you, um, I'm actually going to pop up an arrow here for a second. So based on where you are right now, in a straight line, you could potentially knock the red guy into, like, the blue guy or even, even. Yeah, um, this way. I want to go, I want to, I want to, okay, so maybe I need to come out a little further, but I can't move. Alt, oh, there we go. I want it to go, oh, shoot. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm really bad at this crap, my my character. I want it to move, hit this guy, to maybe hit this guy, knock him back, and then whatever. I don't know how far it goes. Okay. Like shooting pool. Exactly. Like shooting pool. So I'm gonna take, uh, you know, potentially these front guys out, right? So, um, dang it. How, oh, shoot. Hmm. So no, for your for your ring of the ram, under core, I have a clicky for you under your attacks and spellcasting. Yep, here we go. So you just gotta click that. Big number. Was that big number? Did that work? That's seventeen. So that's a good. The highest you can get is uh, what I say twenty. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yay! That's good. So do I have to do anything, or how how does the damage go? I'm just double checking that they don't have to make a saving throw on that. Spectral and makes its attack roll with a plus two bonus on a hit for each charge. Is push five feet away from you. Okay. Okay. So. As a bonus action to try and get. Okay. Yep. So here's how we're going to do this. So that spectral ram head comes like out of your fist and goes across the field mm -hmm. and it hits the, the red guy right in the chest, instantly killing him. <laughs> and his body flies back. And so here's what we're going to do. Does he hit the blue one? If it is a 11 or higher... The answer is yes. No. So his body gets thrown back, and then he just is a clump on the ground. Okay. So that's my action, right? So yep. um, my bonus action, I guess, is going to um, take out my spiritual weapon. Yeah. That's okay. all I have, I think. Or wait, yes, because I can't use it again, right? It has two charges, so I only have one charge left. Yep, correct. Because it says I can do it again, but it would only be against some object, it says, I think. It said I could do it. See, it said you can spend one of the ring as a bonus action to try and break an object. Yeah. That's good. That's good. All right. Reiko's up. Reiko is going to at first kind of look over to the left and sees the two down. Is like, Ugh. And then I like 
roll to the right and see the yellow guy, and I just, like, rolling off the trunk of the tree, swinging with a punch. Want to give me an athletics check, too, on top of that? Oh, yeah, sure. Or, or acrobatics, either one. Um, Oops. <laughs> acrobatics. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, so you try and do this tree flying maneuver and you like grab like a low branch with like both your arms oh okay but but maybe it's kind of like wet and you slip and you fall right on your back oh wow and the but you you actually you still get like an attempt to like kick at him but the 10 okay. is the 10 is a miss <laughs> i'm just laying on my back and i go ow this is the worst hangover ever and then i try to do a sweep like sweep his feet out with my feet okay that is hey. a hit. and you know what let me do a uh, a dex check on him to see if you knock him down yeah. oh roll damage or uh yeah go ahead okay go ahead so we'll do a 10 or under no he stays up Oh, okay. Oh, boy. What else? What else? What else? Um, just like a flailing mess. Um, I will start getting up, and with the momentum from the ground, I will just try to swing a hit at him with my fist. And you oh my completely gosh. miss, and you punch a tree. Ow! You Shake take one, my... one, one point of damage. Okay. I punched it really hard. That's going to leave a bruise. Um, and then I'm going to attempt a flurry of blows. That's a hit. Thank goodness. And the yellow guy with a spark falls to the ground. All right, then I have like one more hit with that flurry. Can I run over to the blue guy and take off my flurry on him? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Sweet. It's not, it's not. It's not that far. The getting up would have taken half your uh, right. movement, but you, you should you should be fine. Yeah. Um. Yep. I just like drunkenly run over and punch him. And 11 is a miss. Oh. Okay. Yep. Swing wide. Whoosh. That's my turn. All right. So all of the uh, acolytes start to move up as they're seeing what's going on here. So three of them approach Reiko. Oh, wait. Sorry, that's the wrong guy. Don't move you just yet. So actually, all three of them are on Reiko. Cool. First one gets a disadvantage on his swing because of the cloak. Keep forgetting I have that cloak. So a six is a miss. It's a miss. Second one. That's a miss. He swings really hard and gets his sword stuck in a tree. Uh, well, and then the uh, that one is going to be a hit. hit. So he takes seven slashing damage. Okay. Oh, actually, there is one more. So this one actually goes up to Jim. It's right in your face, takes a big swing at you, and misses. Yes! Because <laughs> I ducked. <laughs> All right, and we're back to Jim. Okay, so... I'm um, thinking... 
That guy's in my face, so. If, uh, okay, one second. I'm sorry, just one second. That kind of threw me off. Okay, so I have an out-of-character question real quick. Mm -hmm. On Tidal Wave, because he's in my face like this, am I immune to it if I start it from my point, or do I also have to make a deck save? No, you'd be fine. I'm fine with it. Okay. Tidal Wave, again. Okay. Nice. So it's going to be like... Um, Like this so area here. Okay, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't draw straight lines, but you know. Okay. Okay, 18 damage, and they have to make a DC 14 deck saving throw. Okay. So we'll start with the cultist that is closest to you. Yes. Okay. So as the, like, water expands from in front of you, you see him get, like, washed away. He just he gets hit real hard, and uh, he is dead. Yay! <laughs> hey. <laughs> and then we'll go to the two acolytes. Well, wait, oh, I gotta redo that one. Wow, he fails big time. Whoa. <laughs> they both fail. Yes. Jeez. Look at you killing all them baddies. I don't, I yeah, don't know if they you just, die. You just, you just watch them like go down the river because they're all dead. <laughs> they're all <Hi>. dead? Woo! <laughs> all right. I do dance a little jig, whoop whoop, turn around. And I see Reiko, and I think, hmm, that girl cannot <laughs> drink again. <laughs> I imagine I look just very like, uh, they're <laughs> yeah. everywhere. I'm seeing double. There's six of them. So uh, that's the end of my turn. <laughs> uh, before before you end your turn, oh, uh huh, Jem, uh, I'll have you give me a uh, Constitution saving throw. <gasps> sober up. Sober up. <laughs> Okay, you are now sober. Yes! Hey. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody that's now deaf. Sorry. <laughs> and same for same for Sigrid as you start yours. Do the same. Ouch. So no, you're still feeling a little weird. A little woozy. Okay. Um... Uh, I'm going to shoot at the yellowish one to the left of Reiko. Um, I'm kind of fuzzy. I know normally when you're hidden, you get advantage, but I have disadvantage, but I don't know if I'm hidden. Is this attack a disadvantage? Uh, No, go back to normal. Okay. 21? Definite hit. Uh, do I have mm -hmm. standard damage? Yes. Ooh, super low. Uh, 15 <laughs> points of damage as I peek over the house and shoot at the uh, cultist. Alright. So you, uh -oh. see t you see two arrows connect, but he's somehow still alive. Okay. I'm gonna do the rogue shuffle and move over a little bit and Use my bonus action to hide again. Okay. Shuffle. Uh, was that a disadvantage or no? Sorry. No, that's fine. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. All right. We're going to do the... Actually, there's no acolytes in the area. So back to Nami. Okay. So, um... going to do the um, 
so that other the other thing uh what's it called it's on my core the guiding guiding bolts mm -hmm. okay so that's on here it's on my core i'm i'm gonna try that one and i'm gonna aim it at the guy closest to me i'm gonna be what is he brown ish yellow yeah brownish, whatever i'm gonna aim it at him okay I just want to see what this does. Uh, so I can see. So nine is a miss. Okay, so then I will use my spiritual weapon. Those don't take any points, right? Yeah, they're a spell slot, I think, based on what level you cast it at. Oh, there is, because I don't see it on the thing image you gave. You don't see it as like a spell or um yeah. I don't see it as a spell like under my thing. Yeah, I see uh it it's under it's under level one. Level one. It is. Oh, yep. you know what? I had it expanded. Sorry. Okay, so um, let me put that to three. Okay, then I'll do my spiritual weapon. That's got ones a hit. Oh, God. For four. <laughs> four. So, yeah, you see the spiritual weapon, like, spin across, hit the guy in the back, and he drops dead. Yes. yes. I thought you were going to say he just gets a little nick. <laughs> All right. I kind of thought that too. I did too. The way it was sound. Okay, I was like, good. "Don't, don't okay, do that." That's the end of my turn. <laughs> All right, back to uh, Reiko. Oh boy. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and hit the one in front of me. Dark blue, I guess. <laughs> Wait, swing and a miss. <laughs> I'll just be like, oh, come on, man, hold still, and then I'll try again. That is a hit. Okay. Okay, seven there. And then just a little frustrated, I'm going to go in for a headbutt. And you, you miss, and you like hit his shoulder, and he, he pushes. He just and he pushes you away. Yeah. I'm like, well, that wasn't very nice. Floria blows. That's a hit. And last. Okay, I'm gonna pull my character sheet. Minimized. Yep. So you uh, you hit that guy, and he. You push him back, and he drops to the ground dead. Oh. Okay, with the the 14 hit? Yeah, the 14. Okay, and then well, the 11 was a hit, so I'll use that on light blue guy. Yep. Okay. It's my turn. And he had taken damage before, but he's still up. So he's really mad at you. He takes a, a swing and the cloak comes back online Oops. At, the, at the start of your turn, I believe, correct? I believe so. Sorry, my computer said I'm having a connection error. Ooh. Error. Error. I'm going to hit refresh real quick. So he swings at an eight, which is a miss. And we'll be back uh, to Jim. It's a hit. Or, it's, yeah, right. Right, it's a hit. Yep. Sorry, I'm trying to get back in. All right, so that's three slashing damage when you get back in. All right. 
Jim. All right. <clears throat> so, very excited. And uh, this is turning out pretty well. We've got a dragon. I just want to hurry up and finish this off. So I'm hitting light blue guy with a uh, magic missile. He will get all three of them. So uh, what we discussed earlier, I'm, I'm hitting it three times because it's three darts, right? Um, go ahead and hit it once. Hit it once to see what happens. Okay. Okay, so yeah, hit it two more times. Okay. So he takes three plus four plus three. So yeah, you see the the missiles hit him, bam, 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 and he also falls to the ground dead. Yes. Nice. Okay. So as you guys look around, you see that there are no more enemies in your general area. You can see the dragon is currently in the sky and is like on the opposite side of town, but you can hear a lot of like banging and screaming and that sort of thing from the town. Okay, and so our uh, uh so on the other side, right? We're in the middle of the town, correct? Yeah, you can't really see from where you where you're at. Where we're at, right. Okay. So, um I think we should run to town. I was gonna, yeah, I was going to run and tell the guards to uh to follow us. Come help us. Yeah. Good idea. Go I agree. To the, go to the town. What do you think? Sigurd? Ah, uh, that sounds good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So can we do that? Can we run? Like, how far can we run? Is this an in-battle run or? A... Uh, we're going to keep up the turn order for now. Okay. But uh, we're not actually going to do turns. So, yeah, if you guys want to just kind of move wherever you want to move. Oh, okay. I'm going to ask the guards on the way if they know where where else there's battle or cultists. And they say they don't because they were patrolling on that side of the bridge. Okay. So I'm kind of running up here to the center of town. Can I see anything? Yep. Yeah, so when you guys... Uh, get to the center of town. Um, since you've been walking around, you know the town a little bit, you know that there's like a gate to the north-ish and then there's a gate to the like east. And so you'll, you'll see that there are soldiers essentially at both gates and they're like trying to bar the doors. And it, it sounds like there's something big like ramming both doors. Hmm. I'll look at there's okay. guards all there right now, right? Yeah, so there's guards. Um I don't know about splitting. I think we should go as a group. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you think? Uh I think we should go to the north gate. And That's what I was thinking was North Gate. Call that out. Mm -hmm. um, looking at the North Gate, are the buildings inside of the town taller than the wall? Yes. Uh, is the uh, also building... you you okay. might notice there are there's two there's there's uh like this one right here. It's like a square inside of a square. Is that a watchtower? Those are watchtowers. Okay, uh, I'm going to attempt to go up the watchtower. Okay, before we start running, I'm like, uh, should we check on the bar and the wizards that came? Maybe they can help. Take Leosin and Andro. Yeah. Oh. So it's, it's funny enough that you say that. Right as you mention that, you like look over your shoulder and you see Leosin and Sandro walking uh, towards you. 
<laughs> Excellent. Not that big he's, he's giant. Bigger than life. <gasps> or <laughs> <laughs> then I'll just be like, oh, there they are. <laughs> I smack my face a couple times. <laughs> yeah, so Leosin comes up to you and he's like holding his head and he's just like, oh, what is going on? Big old fight. Cultists, activists, dragons, the usual. Wait, there's a dragon? Somewhere. And he's like looking around. Destruction like... path. <laughs> well, funny enough, be because this he's doing cold, and they came out the tavern, which is again is, the, is that green building. Mm -hmm. um, if you say like destruction path, he like looks over, and there's yeah, that blue pointing. that there's that blue <laughs> area, and it looks like it's just like solid like snow and ice. Is it still dark? Yeah, so the town okay. is essentially there. Like, there's torches it lit up everywhere now. Okay. I guess so, at least the town isn't on fire. Something good. Yeah, <laughs> that'll melt eventually. Yeah, I mean, it's well above freezing, so it's, like, already starting to melt. But there's been some structural damage to the buildings. Okay. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're just, I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't think I helped much, but these guys just killed a bunch of cultists, and we're about to probably go kill more. Want to come? Yeah. Party. Yeah, I suppose. Let's get rid of these guys. All right. To the north. And then I'll follow Sigurd and try not to stumble too much. Uh, may I get on this building here? Which one? I would like to get on this building here. How about that? Oh, okay. Do you need a... Uh... Or a ladder, or buckets I can climb. I don't. I don't. Uh, or should I tell you? So I find some boxes, and I okay, and I <laughs> yes, stack a couple of them real quick, and I climb up onto the roof so I can get a better view. So as Leosin approaches uh, that side, and again you have like all the guards. They're like they have their pikes like up against the. Um, up against the door. And so Leosin says, ah, so what do you guys see on the other side? Uh, what do I see? <laughs> Since I'm up a watchtower. Uh, I will pop it up on screen. The others have seen this before, but the Sigurd has not. Uh, you see one of these. Oh, hold on, I gotta close my sheet. You see an ambush oh, drink. Oh, okay. And it's essentially like body slamming itself against the, the door. And you can see at this point the the door is pretty weak. So I yell um, back and say, uh, it's an ambush drake trying to break down the gate. And Sandro says, ah, those aren't too bad. No, but he brought some friends. Good. I welcome it. Uh, I guess whenever I'm able, I'm going to start shooting at the Drake. Okay. So, uh, Jem, do you want to do anything? Um, I can do something. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll start. If, if you guys want to do something, so you're you're at the top. Oh, I wasn't ready. Um, <laughs> oh, 
Well, I've probably overused that one. Um, I am going to rain down acid on the drake. I'm going to target the drake. That sounds so cool. <laughs> Okay, so you attempt to do an acid splash at the Drake. Yes. That's a dexterity save, 14. <gasps> I'm very frustrated that I missed. Over, so close. <laughs> it like looks up at you and growls. <laughs> and I growl back. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sigurd. Uh, gonna make a bonus action to hide. Oh, also, if you want to give me another con save. All right, you are feeling good now. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Let's be um, nice. and then I'm going to fire at the Drake. Okay. Um, Love and a mess. It is. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's my yeah. Turn. You, yeah. So you fire an arrow, and it like bounces off its armor. All right, Nami. Um. I think I'm going to shoot the my ring again. Okay. So where where are you at currently? Um oh well I'm not back here. Sorry. Uh let me move. Uh, I'm gonna move. Um I'm actually gonna come up on the roof too. Do I need to do anything to get up there with Jem? Clean no. my boxes. Okay, um, so I'm gonna do the ring. I'm gonna do the ring again. I have one more charge on it. Okay. So, uh, there we go. And who are you shooting at? Uh, the Drake. Okay. So the Drake takes eleven force damage. That's awesome. It's a handy and he's, little ring. Yeah, and he's 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 like knocked away the gate so the bashing of the gate has stopped at the moment it doesn't not um it didn't knock him anywhere right nope no. okay um then i guess i'll use my spiritual weapon okay that's a hit okay and All right, minus two. Minus a big whopping two. <laughs> <clears throat> Guess that's my turn. All right, Reiko, what you got? Still drunk? Uh, give me a save. Okay. Uh no, you're you're good now. Okay. Um so kind of smack my face one more time. I will climb up onto the cart um and stand. Horse is still hitched to the cart? Yep. Well, yeah, they are there. Okay. Um yeah, I'll just stand. Um just waiting where typically the driver would sit. Okay. I mean, very defiant. So the Drake is, is pretty mad and his masters start like commanding it. And so the Drake does like a full run as fast as they can go. And he just slams right into the gate, opening it up.
And so he's got his guards standing there, and the guards kind of get stunned a little bit. They can't believe that the gate just got breached. And so he, he bites at the first guard. And he actually misses there, so he bites again, and that is also a miss. <laughs> All right, Jim. Get him. All right, I am going to uh, take this group here and put them to sleep. Aww. Okay. Um, creatures within 20 feet of a point that I choose. So that should cover the whole group, correct? Yeah, dep depending on how you roll, we'll see how many you get. Okay. So let's put them to sleep. Big number. Or sleep. Wait, can I roll this at a higher, at higher levels when you cast this? Second higher. Roll an additional two weight for each slot above. Okay, I want to roll this at a higher level. How do I pick that? It should ask you when you do it. Oh yes, it did. At a two. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that. Oh, means. you rolled. You rolled so many ones there. You rolled three ones. Ah. Okay. So what does so so, what did it do? So you got one guy. Only one guy went to sleep? Yep. Oh, so I I'll let you pick. Which one do you want? I thought everyone would go to sleep. I thought the roll was for how many hit points they took. We were actually doing it wrong before. So sleep actually doesn't cause any damage. Oh. The, num the number of hit points uh, de determines how many, essentially how many people you put to sleep based on their HP. Okay, I'll, I'll ask you later. Okay. Um, put... Um, yeah. what, 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 what we were doing before, which was wrong, is everybody went to sleep, and then mm -hmm. they took that much damage based on what you roll. But that's, yeah, that's not how it works. So yeah, with the 12 and 11, that's only one guy. Okay. Okay, uh, I'll pick the red guy. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no, that's my turn. Okay. Sigurd. Okay, dokey. Um, so, gonna use bonus action to hide. It's not really good. Um, and then I'm going to fire at the, uh, the battering ram, the drake. Cortina hit. E yes, it is. Okay. Uh, do I have sneak attack damage? Well, uh, I have an ally within five feet, so I do get it. Yep. Okay. Okay. Right, and Seventeen. Mm-hmm. Uh, that will be my turn. All right, city guards get uh, a little uh, poke at it. Miss, hit, miss. 
for nine. All right, and then finally we get three acolytes. All right, let me see something here real quick. I'm gonna do something I haven't done on these guys yet. All right. And the Drake's still alive? It's looking pretty bad. Cool. Let me go back to uh, Acolyte mode here. Okay, so if I click this, does it work correctly? Let's find out. Awesome. All right, so that is one, two, Nice, 10. So the uh, Acolytes heal up the uh, Drake by 20. So they all, they all just ran behind the Drake and healed him? Or yep. this cure when it's a touch? Okay. Yep. Uh, do we notice him healing? Or can I make a perception check to notice him healing? I would say it's pretty obvious. So the three of you that are up top would definitely see it. And then we're... Well, actually, no, I, I forgot that the um, the gate was down. So, yeah, everybody would have seen it. So we're back to the NAMI. Quick question. Um, mm -hmm. Sandro and Leosin in initiative? Not yet. Oh, okay. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and add them. I'll add them now so they're at the bottom of the list. Hmm. Um, I'm going to do Guiding Bolt on the, uh, on the Drake then. And zero. Jeez. Actually, hold on a moment. Wait a minute. So, since it's a cantrip, can I do Guiding Bolt and then do a um, Sacred Flame since it's a cantrip, or no? No. Right? No. The, the spell as a bonus action has to have the one bonus action uh, requirement. Spellcasting okay. time. Okay. It just has one action. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Then I'm gonna go and do another uh, guiding bolt. Eighteen's a hit. Okay. On I'm on the Drake. I'm assuming. Yes, on the Drake. Okay. <clears throat> For how much damage? Oh, whoops. Sorry. And you rolled two ones on that as well. <laughs> oh, man. I hate those ones. We need to get rid of them. <laughs> so does that so mean takes... you took nine damage? Though? Yep, nine radiant damage. Okay, then I'm going to do my spiritual weapon. That spiritual weapon always rolls really good. For, For eight. eight. For 17. So once again, it's looking pretty rough. All right. I'm looking to break out to finish him up. So that's my turn. Okay. Um, I will just, eh, that doesn't matter. I'm not that far. I'm going to shuffle off the cart and I'm just going to run up to this Drake and just start wailing. All right. Run up, slam a foot down on its head. 21's a hit. And with your initial hit, the sparks fly and it drops to the ground. 
That was with my foot, sir. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, all three acolytes are sitting there like, what is happening? I foot still on the head. I just look at them with a very menacing grin, crack my fist together, get some lightning going, and take a swing at the green one. Okay. That's a hit. Sober Rachel rolls much better. Okay. I'm going to hit him again. Dang. Okay. I need to be sober always. <laughs> and so with that strike, the green one falls. Okay. I'll say that's my turn. Okay. All right, so we have three cultists that now make their way towards the gate. Got a lot of stuff right here. So two of them will strike at Reiko. First one disadvantage, depending on what happens here. That's a double That's 19. A hit. So you take seven slashing damage. Okay. And then the next one takes a swing at you. That's going to be a miss, I think. Mm -hmm. And then the other one's going to swing at a guard. And that's going to be a hit for seven. All right. And now the dragon's dead. We're on to Jim. All right. Um... Seeing that they are coming after Reiko and the guards, but Reiko's my bud, so I will, gosh, I should splash has not been my friend. I will shoot magic missiles at... The yellow one because he's closest to me. So this one here. All three. Okay. Yep. So you see all three connect and he takes a lot of damage. Yes. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. That's it for now. Sigurd. Uh, how tall is the wall? So I think we're looking at a 10 foot wall. The tower you're in is probably 20 some feet. Okay. And then that the house just like the roof just barely goes over top of it. Uh, I'm gonna jump off the watchtower and tumble behind enemy lines, I guess, is the way to do it. Uh, you need an acrobatics check or what? Athletics? Yep. Which one? Uh, actually, give me both. Hmm. What? Okay. Hey! So you, <laughs> you, you jump out of the tower and you actually land on the wall first first and then you tumble off uh onto the grass and then give me a give me a stealth check too did they see you no they didn't whoa very nice yeah that's uh, awesome uh i'm gonna take out my short sword and get behind this guy and uh, i'm gonna stab him okay that's a hit Uh, do I have sneak attack? Since uh, Rico's in five feet, right? I didn't see her move or anything. It's just an X. Uh, yeah, she would be there, yeah. All right, 23 hey. points of damage. Yeah, he's insta-dead. Hey. All right. Uh, don't think I would have the ability to take out my dagger, so that'll be my turn.
All right. City guard number one goes after the cultist that's nearby. And that is going to be a hit for eight. Does not kill the cultist. Uh, another city guard is going to go after yellow. And that is a miss. All right, we've got two. No, we've only got one acolyte still standing. So this acolyte is going to do sacred flame against Sigurd. Okay. No, DC 12 dex. And you make that. Nice. Uh, is it hack damage or what? I believe for Sacred Flame, it's either hit or miss. Okay. Let me just quickly verify, but I'm pretty sure. Yep. All right, we're actually up to Leosin. Yay. All right, so Leosin and Sandro are kind of standing behind you guys. And they're just like, man, look at this mess. So Sandro or uh, Leosin targets the white cultist. Mm. And he is going to throw a firebolt at him. Point two's a hit for 12, and he's dead. So you guys just see a streak of fire, just like zoom by, <laughs> light the guy on fire, and he's dead. Nice. And he, he, he kind of puts his hands together, and he's like, Woohoo! <laughs> Remember that, Reiko? Yeah, show off. So then Sandro Sandro looks at at Leosa and anything and, and he says <laughs> Nice one. But I think I can do you one better. That's a fireball. And, and he he raises his one arm up, making like an evil finger in the air type hand gesture. And he says, "Rise." Oh, oh crap! <laughs> and so the next thing you guys see is one of the dead cultists all of a sudden comes back to life. But he doesn't come back to life as just a cultist. He comes back as a skeleton. Uh, where is my... Ah, here it is. Ooh. <laughs> so there's an animated oh <laughs> nasty un undead skeleton that has that has arisen <laughs> is it next to me <laughs> oh jeez <laughs> it's it is next to me <laughs> it, it, it would actually be i mean there's there's so much there um let me let me do this let me but i see it next to me <laughs> yes. No. It, it's gonna. It, it actually appear in front of you. Sorry, I don't know. He's a necromancer. I'm going to use my reaction to take an attack of opportunity on the skeleton yes. summoned next to me. Okay. <laughs> We're just all screaming. <laughs> uh, that'll that'll be a hit. Do I have sneak attack? Yes. Yes. 
put her right back in the ground. Wait, he's on our side. <laughs> and you do. You you swipe at it, you hit it, and it drops. And he yells from you, like, from 30 yards away, What are you doing? That was mine. All you hear is Secret <laughs> screaming. Do I see it as Because well? he oh has never God. seen anything undead summoned in his life. Because if I see it, I'm doing the same. I'm just screaming and pointing. The cultists are undead! I'm still, like, <laughs> halfway swinging my sword at a dead skeleton. I'm sure it's really dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just poking it with the short sword now. And then upon hearing it, I look at him like, You should have told me about this shit! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. He he, he, do, he does like a, the face palm thing, and he's just like holding his head in his <laughs> hands, like, oh my god. Hopefully not with a necromancing hand. <laughs> he's yeah. thinking to himself, if that guy ever dies, I'm bringing him back. Yeah. <laughs> so I can kill him again. And again. He takes out a piece of parchment, makes it out. <laughs> Alert allies, I am a necromancer. This never came up in any conversation. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> I'm sorry, metagaming gaming wise and like, yeah, the skeleton's fine, it's an ally. But I don't know that, so I'm gonna yep. kill it. <laughs> yep. The DM's too quiet. He's taking notes. Behave. He's just like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that dragon at? <laughs> By the way, animate dead was the spell. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. I want to be a necromancer next time. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so we're, we're up to, uh, to Nami. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, that I could have controlled. I can control an undead. Um, Ooh. But uh, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and kill the, wait, is it the yellow one? That's still alive? Hello? Hello? Uh, there are currently three still alive. Yeah, the green, like, yellow, the thing in Magigan. Yeah, yellow, light blue, dark yeah. blue. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is I'm going... Oh, no. Wait, did I use my ring of... I did, didn't I? Yeah, you've used it... Tw uh, no, you've only used it once. No, I only, twice. I used yeah, twice. twice. Okay. Wait, I did? Yeah, because you hit it with the... You hit... Um, the drake and that's, it pushed it back that's right that's right that's right yes i have zero points okay god i wish i had something that was like aoe i don't um i might do sacred flame on the yellow guy okay That good. All right. Survey says it's a hit for eight. Okay. Yeah, and solid. you see the yellow guy go whoosh, and he drops to the ground dead. Great. Then I'm gonna take the aqua guy. Oh, also, I I forgot we had one sleeping. <laughs> which, oh, oh, which one? Was red, that? red one is sleeping. Where is the red one? Oh no! How oh, many turns has it been? Down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well. He can continue. Um, it's been like two turns. Oh, okay. I am going to do my spiritual weapon for seven on the other guy right next to me. Okay. Aqua guy. Aqua guy. Ah. Seven points. Okay. Yep. That's my turn. Rico. Okay. Um, Has Reiko gotten over the fact that <laughs> Singer's just was... screaming at a skeleton? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, shake out of it. Because gross, undead people, not normal. Um, 
And from my vantage point, like, what do I see? Can I tell there's more? Because I'm kind of, like, tucked behind stuff. Yeah, I mean, I I would say that you're you're still kind of in that doorway-ish. It's been completely just, like, ripped open. So there's, like, a, okay. you know, 10-foot wide gap, so to okay, speak, between, okay. the, between the walls. All right, well, I'll... I'll just meander up. I'll see the remaining baddies. Oh, quick look at the pile of bones. Worried. I'm just like, ew. And I'll just run up and punch the cultist. Okay. That is a miss. I'm just thinking about that pile of dead stuff. But I'm gonna punch again. It's nope. a miss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like on dead things, guys. Um, I'm gonna try again. There you go. Hey, okay. And that will be my turn. All right. So light blue is looking pretty rough. And he's looking at you with an angry face. I look angry right back at him. So blue cultist. Comes to Reiko at disadvantage. Swing for a 10. That's a miss. Mm -hmm. And we're back to Jim. So uh, hearing all of this commotion going on, I look over and I've noticed the undead and Sigurd killing it. And I'm thinking, so that's what kind of mage he is. Or that's what his power is. And uh, remembering my conversation with Sandro earlier in the evening. So there's no time for asking questions. I'm going to, whoops, whoops, whoops. Screw up the map. And I'm gonna go after um, blue guy here. Okay. And I am going to, oh wait. Okay, and I'm going to use Magic Missile again. This seems to be working this evening. Sounds good. All three on the blue guy. <clears throat> Once again, you release your purple darts. Bam, bam, bam. And he kind of like falls up against the cart there and he he's dead yes and i let out a whoa okay because i'm so excited you're really killing them tonight jim <laughs> <laughs> jumps on a roll doesn't happen often <laughs> <laughs> so i'm excited and that's my turn All right, Sigurd. Okay, so what I want to do is move up behind this cultist. I'm going to hide. Um, just try to get up behind him so he doesn't see me. And then just uh, attack him with the short sword. Okay. Um, do I have advantage from being hidden? Yes. Okay. And then since I had advantage at sneak attack damage, so at 17 points of damage. Yep. So you go in after him and you, uh, you instantly drop him. Oof. <laughs> Sweet! So as the, uh, as the last one drops over on this side, you guys all of a sudden hear a loud just bang noise coming from that that south entrance or that eastern entrance um what about the sleepy guy oh <laughs> can i just I, kill him he's he sleeps for 10 turns napping there <laughs> yeah, i mean you, 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 dead. <laughs> yeah i mean technically you can walk up to him and just yeah slice his throat i'll do that <laughs> just come up and just <laughs> good night sweet prince boop, boop. um 
uh, are we out of turn order or moving or where are we doing? Depending on what you want to do, uh, I say we're still in turn order. Um, I want to put uh, short sword and dagger away, take out bow, and then uh, move out um, this direction. Okay. So you can see that they have breached that gate. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I'm actually going to skip to Leosin. So Leosin has like a line of sight from where he is. So he actually yells to you guys, they've breached the other gate. We should head there immediately. And then he actually takes off. And he positions himself about right here. And then he is going to launch another firebolt. 23 will be a hit for 14 on this guy. And then Sandro, he kind of walks up over to here. And he says, now listen, don't hurt this one. <laughs> and he, he does it again. We all chuckle. <laughs> and he brings forth a, another skeleton. Does he so make a all... skeletor noise when he comes up? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> and we're on to Nami. Um, so I'm gonna go move. Do I have to make a thing, a move, like uh, to get back? I was gonna get up on the wall. I mean, up on the roof. Uh, but well, you'd have to describe how you're getting up there, and then that determines whether or not there's a check. <clears throat> um. There's some barrels behind that thing. I'm just going to climb up. Okay. Uh, this time, give me an athletics check. Okay. So I have to go to my core. Sorry. There we go. That's bad, huh? Yeah, so you, you, you're not able to get up there. Okay. So then I'm going The barrels to are a little unstable. So can I move? Because I don't know how far that is, but I think I'm going to go right here. Wait, no, I think I'll move back to here. Is, can I still see? It looks like I can see through to these guys. Like from yeah, the there's yeah, there's kind of like little alleyway there. You wouldn't be able to see the the dragon, the little, the little dragon, but you could see like Blue, yellow. Yeah, blue, yellow. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use the uh, sacred flame again. Okay. On the closest one to me, so the aqua guy. Okay. <clears throat> oh wait, I hit the wrong button. Sorry, sorry. That's a miss then, right? Yeah, I believe the rule is you got to go Above, right? over, under. Okay, so then uh, I guess I'll use my spiritual weapon. Oh. The, the damage on that was incredible. 14. All right, so, so uh, nine, nine to that guy. So you see the knife whirl, whirl across, and he is dead. Oh. Nice. Yes. Or actually, wait, sorry. That yeah, is actually it, incorrect because yeah, the the nine was a miss, right? Would be a miss, yes. Okay, that's what I was wondering, and then I was like, what? I was getting ahead of myself. Oh. Okay, so I was a complete failure this round. 
So back to Reiko as you see another skeleton pop up. Gosh. I'll just like slow turn, look at Sandro, and then just book it. <laughs> <laughs> the skeleton, yeah. like, he gives you this look. He's like, I don't even see it. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I run it. I run doubly fast. Does the skeleton start chasing after her? Oh jeez! <laughs> Can be running really good. Um, and running, running, running. I, once I see the cultist, I will just not slow down and drive my fist towards his head. Please hit! Please okay. hit! Please hit! Oh, nice. thank you, dice gods. Yep. And this time he does fall to ground dead. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just going to keep running. Full speed. Right into like this cultist. Run by punch. Yep. Just deck him. Keep running. Um, come on, Icon. Go where I want you. Drive by punching. Mm-hmm. Monk special. Just break kneecaps. <laughs> there we go. Um, kind of do the same thing. Just drive by, punch. Which one, pink or it? yellow? Um, pink. Okay. So he takes a little bit of damage. Okay. Thinking, thinking, thinking. How potentially stupid do I want to be? Very. I'm going to just like, yep, drive by punch, just keep running past him, and then try to kick this dragon buddy in the face. So you stop for a second as you get a look at the uh, the beast now in front of you, because this one's different. Oh, boy. Uh, this one is, and again, you guys have seen this before. Sigurd has not. Uh, this one is this guy. This is oh. a guard drake. That one's bigger. He's got a Look. horn for our nose. Oh boy, oh boy. Maybe I won't kick him in the face. <laughs> so you, he, you, you like, you, you run right up to him. And he's like, he gives you like a funny look and like sniffs you. Jeez. <laughs> Not attacking me though. Um... In that moment of confusion, I will just, like, do, like, my back is to the dude I just hit, and I'm just going to do, like, a, I don't know how to describe it. Like, when you just, like, take your arm at a right angle, just pop your fist behind you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm just looking at this beast with a bewildered look. As <laughs> that a hit? It does not. What? <laughs> no. Oh, no. That would have been nice. All right. Well, I'm going to do a flurry of blows on this beastie. Okay. That's oh, my gosh. All, that also misses. <clears throat> oh, it breaks my heart when a key point gets... Well, I got one more hit. Let's hope it hits. Okay, there okay. There you go. That's one hit. So oh. you hit him, and he takes a little bit of shock damage, and he, like, roars at you. Roar. Okay, my turn. Also, I gotta add the guard drake to the uh, the queue here. <clears throat> All right, it is cultist time. Cultist time. All right, so we have two cultists who actually like run their way in to the base a little bit. They're going to go after the guard, and then we've got one more that's going to go after Reiko. Do the Reiko oh. one first at disadvantage. That's a miss. Mm-hmm. Whoa. All right, and then we got the two that are on the guard. Boom, boom. And those are both a miss as well. Nice. Jim. Okay, so um, 
when we hear the attack and I see everybody else take off running, I'm going to quickly but carefully, my plan is to come a, let me draw it, uh, oops, where'd I go? Come across here to this roof and then I'm assuming this is a different roof. They're connected though. Okay. And so I want to take my vantage point here. Can I do that? What do you need? Yep. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, sweet. Okay. And then I'm going to... Ooh, she's surrounded. They're surrounding him, though. Somehow I'm always surrounded. No. <laughs> I guess I would that take the... That was my own fault this time. Uh, I guess I would take the first one I see, which would be the pink one. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to send, oh, what is it? I'm going to shoot a frostbite spell as a cantrip. Okay. At the pink guy. So okay, must make a constitution saving throw on a failed save. It takes. It'll take 18. And your spell save DC is what? It is 13, I believe. Mine? Yeah. Um, that's so they have to make a, they have to make a 13. Wait, my spell, wait where do I see that? To be on your spell sheet spell up at the top. On my spell sheet. Spell save DC is 14. 14, okay. So they have to make a 14? Yep, or they take... Do they take half damage on this one? Doesn't say that, unless I'm on missing a, it. On so a it's... fail, the target takes a 1d6. Well, it's actually more than a 1d6. Because you're at level 5, so it's a 2d6. Oh, ooh. Oh, that's right. That's what we were talking about earlier. Okay. Okay. Sounds like it's a win-win. I think the fail just adds the disadvantage part of it. Or is it all or nothing? I'm just, I'm double-checking that oh, roll oh, here real here. quick. Okay, um, go ahead. Are you waiting on something from me? My volume was turned down for a second. No, I'm looking at okay. the 18 and figuring out if that's correct. That I don't think that's right. Why I, it shouldn't be rolling a 1d20 plus three? Uh -uh. Well, the the three from our charisma modifier, and then I believe spellcasters add their proficiency bonus as well to spells like uh aimed spells they get the proficiency bonus so that's 12 plus 3 plus 3 so 18 but still it should be a 2d6 not a 1d20 yeah that's no that was her attack roll, roll. You want me to that's her attack roll this? versus ac is 18 Oh right, 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 right. and right. then so okay so now she okay. hits you make a con save and then the damage Okay, so actually click where it says frostbite so to roll the damage. Oh. I was only questioning it because I was actually fixing that, that spell earlier. Right. Mm. Gotcha. Okay, so there's the DC 14. Okay, okay, there we go. Oh, okay. So on this one I have to, but on Acid Splash I don't have to click that, right? I'm sorry, that's a later, N that's no. a later question. Okay. No. But this time I have to click it. Okay. Okay. So here is this. Okay. Yes. So they take the nine cold damage. Okay. That's the pink guy. Yep. Awesome. Oh, so you see that attack uh, go across. He freezes up and he just falls over dead. Whoop. Yeah. I'm excited. I do a little semi dance, but I'm careful because I don't want to fall off the roof. <laughs> 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 can I no I have I have to wait till my next turn to move again right no you can 
You probably still have some movement left. Do I have enough movement to make it to this watchtower and climb up? Probably not. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, I can? Yeah, you would. Okay. I'm going to hop down and come over to this watchtower and climb up. Okay. Okay. And I'm done. Okay. On to Sigurd. Okay, so bonus action hide. Nah, I wouldn't have advantage on that. Okay. Um, I'm... <laughs> Do you even exist? No, no. I I'm just a really bad sniper. Um, can I see the guard beastie from where I'm at? Yes. Okay. Um, do I have advantage from being hidden? Yes. Okay. Going to shoot at him with the bow. 25 hit? Yep. And sneak attack. So... In the shadows, I just creep along, and I, I, I see the beast in the door, and just fire, and hit it for 24 points of damage. Sweet. All right, cool. Always. Uh, that'll be my turn. All right, city guard on yellow. That's a hit for six. Uh, city guard on white. Also a hit for four. Go city guard. All right, acolyte time. We have got three. So let's do... All right, Sacred Flame to Reiko. So, deck save. But I am, well, that's fire resistant, but does this? It's a, it's radiant damage, not fire damage. Oh, okay, okay. So seven. Okay, and then sacred flame to city guard. All I have to say is ow. Actually, we'll do two sacred flames to city guard. Let's see here. Okay. Fail and save. So he'll take the eight. All right, and then we're up to Leosin. This time Leosin is going to do Ray of Frost at yellow. Twenty-one is a hit for fourteen cold damage, and yellow is gonna drop to the ground dead. Sandro gathers his skeleton, <laughs> and they march down the field here. And he tells the skeleton to uh, get in there against the uh, the white cultist. <laughs> And so Skeleton <laughs> makes a short sword attack for 17, which is going to be a hit for two piercing damage. And then Sandro is going to do what? Sandro then 
puts out his, his hand once again and fires a green streak ray of sickness. Must make a attack against the target on a hit. Takes 2d6, so a 12 against a cultist is actually a miss. Well, actually, let's see here. Target takes, put them in. Must make constitution saving throw. Okay, so that that spell might be programmed wrong because it's a con save, not an attack. It's a ray, which means you have to hit. Oh, okay. Thank you. It's kind of like Frostbite. You're trying to beat their AC, and then they have to make the save. Gotcha. All right, so we're on to Nami. Okay. Um. So we only have, am I right? one white guy the drake and the two outside i can't see underneath the drake who's that yeah there's Maybe. there's there's four in total alive well five if you have the drake okay who's right in the middle in front of the drake that's covered by his rico <laughs> disaster oh. tiefling oh that's oh okay now i start to see you okay i just saw black and i was like <laughs> Wait, is that another? Okay, okay, okay. So I can move or no? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to move, and I'm actually going to... Can I get up there with a gem or no? Yeah, yes. there's, a, there's a straight ladder for that spot. Okay, perfect. I'm going to move here. And I'm... Ah. Whoa. It's a pretty big spiritual weapon, I tell I'm, you. I'm just resizing it. Oh, I was like, uh, I'm going to throw my spiritual weapon and wipe out everybody in once. Yeah. Uh, Don't you dare <laughs> spin that thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, gosh, uh, one of them healed the Drake, but I don't know if he, he probably can heal this one. But you know what? It's okay. I'm going to go after the Drake. I'll let you guys go combat the other ones. Um, and I am going to use I'm going to use a uh, guiding bolt but I'm going to use it at a level 2 okay oh shoot I didn't it didn't ask me I think it asks you when you roll the damage oh okay gotcha that's a hit or so yeah 18 would be a hit yeah yes it does it does so I'm going to do it at a level 2 so that okay. is an 8 plus a 3 11 at the uh, dragon. Yep. I got a deduction. And again on that, you rolled a one, a two, and a two on that bottom one. Oh, man. You didn't need to tell anyone. You could have <laughs> kept it between, like, yourself. <laughs> I'm feeling again. Okay, so he took 11 hit, right? So then yes. I'm going to do my big spiritual weapon. That's a All hit. Right. Yeah, it's got to be a hit because 18 was a hit before. Big number. Oh, Seven. that's better than a two. So 18 points of damage total, right? Yep. So the Drake is looking a little rough now. Okay. That's my turn. Only a also, little. Also, uh, Nami, did you move your mic away? Uh, I, can you hear me better now? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you know what? I was looking because I was looking at who was underneath in front of the Drake. So my no. face, I was like, l l seriously looking at my second, like up close, my second monitor, sorry. Gotcha. My mic is by my first monitor. Sorry about that. That's fine. Okay, yay, that's my turn. All right, finally the guard Drake gets to go. Can just not go. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. It could be confused from being shot in the ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's try a bite attack at Rico. That's going to be a miss. A uh -huh. tail swipe. A tail swipe. It's also a miss. <sighs> Dang it. 
And we're back to Reiko. Just if you'll allow it, just for flourish, I see its tail swipe, and then I just smack it on the head with my tail. <laughs> like, hey! And then I'm going to go in and punch it. That's a miss. <sighs> I'll try again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to try once more. There you go. Thank goodness. <sighs> and with your final blow, it rears up on two legs and oh. falls backwards dead. Yay! <laughs> like, yes! Oh, <laughs> okay. Cool. I'll say that's my turn. All right. And before you guys get a chance to do anything else. Oh, no. You once again hear whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Ooh. And then kind of behind the line here, the, the, dragon, the dragon drops right down. Oh, hi, Sigurd. <laughs> oh. oh, hi, Sigurd. <laughs> what? I'm lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's like, this me. is not my night. <laughs> you're, it's it's dark out. You're wearing dark clothes. <laughs> I had a 29 stealth check. Yeah. Does it see me? <laughs> you're basically a blade of grass to its eyes. Let's, let me, let's, let's do this. Um, what happens if I hit this button? Okay. He does not see you. Oh, nice. Okay. That, that's fine. That's awesome. I imagine you just like here at Atlanta go, I'm just like, <laughs> how, how big is the dragon actually? Like, so compared to the one I saw up north, I'm so assuming compared, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to the greenest one and the one you saw up north, this one is smaller. It's like half the size. Okay. So it's, it's classified as a medium dragon. So the cultist now sees a skeleton in his face. <laughs> and so he's going to take a swing at, at the skeleton. And that's going to be... Do I have a thing for that? Uh, um, skeleton's AC is 13. So we're back to Jim. So Jim and Nami, you guys are in this watchtower, and you just saw this dragon land outside the wall. Okay. Um. So can I have a second to shout down to Reiko and the guards, warning them? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to shout down to Reiko and, and the guards, Hey, the dragon's outside the wall! Hurry up! <laughs> okay. And, okay. <laughs> yeah, kill him fast. <laughs> oh jeez. So um, I'm gonna go after. Mm. I'm gonna go after this guy right here. Then. Mm. No. The mm. white. The white acolyte. Yeah, the white acolyte, and I'm gonna shoot him with. Um, uh, frostbite was successful, so I'm going to shoot off another round of frostbite. Okay. So now that first number determines if it's a hit or not? Yep, which it is. Okay, and then now 11 damage. Oh, wait, he has to do a consultation save first. Yep. I mean, a thingy ba bob Yeah, okay. Oh, so and it did not hit him. gets over. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So I'm frustrated because I feel like that's a really wasted shot, and I'm suddenly thinking maybe I should have gone for the dragon instead. And my turn's over. Okay. All right, Sigurd. Don't move. Uh, how close is the dragon? He's 20 feet away, we'll say. Um. Do I need to re-roll my head check? Since he didn't see me. Uh, Yes. Oh, I wouldn't have advantage on that. What am I doing? Okay. All right. You're good. 
Uh, I'm gonna... I've seen this thing use, like, ice damage and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna shoot it with a fire arrow. Okay. Um, do I have advantage since I'm hidden? Yes. Does a 17 hit? Yes. Okay. Um, sneak attack damage, yeah, from being hidden. Well, I had advantage, yep. so yeah. Ooh. Okay, so um, I take a fire arrow and I knock it and I shoot it for uh, 12, uh, 23 points of damage. Okay, he knows where you are now. Um, Ooh. I'm going to move. Okay. Uh, my full action, like, uh, and then I'm going to use my bonus action to hide again. Ah, I hate that. Okay, so 13. No, it's very hidden. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel safe. <laughs> he knows the general direction where you went. Okay, uh, that's my turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll do the one city guard versus the white one. That's a hit for five. He's still alive. Okay. So when the dragon lands, we have the acolytes. These two acolytes head towards the dragon. Oh, boy. Uh, the one inside. Oh, did I accidentally move this guy? Uh, the one inside does another sacred flame at Reiko. Huh? All right, all right. Character sheet likes to go hide. Goo. Okay. Ow. All right, so Leosin, he runs, like, full speed outside the gate. Let's take a look at this dragon. And he's like, oh, boy. Here we go. So Leosin puts his hands together and you see the lightning start to flow as he unleashes thunderbolts. Did that not cast? Fancy. I didn't or see anything. lightning bolt, I should say. Well, that's weird. Why is that not doing what it's supposed to be doing? All right, we'll do it like that. Stroke of lightning forms a line 100 feet long and 5 feet wide. Blasts out in front of you in the direction you choose. Each creature in the line must make a dexterity saving throw. A creature takes 8d6 lightning damage on the failed save or half as much on a successful. So... Five feet wide is essentially just gonna hit the, the dragon. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say. So spell save DC is thirteen. Does dragon take how much damage? All right. Eight D six. Thirty-three. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I know why it wasn't working. It was asking me what level to cast it at. Doesn't matter. We'll take the 33. Okay. Whoop, whoop. We will take the 33. Yeah. Beautiful. But yeah, that was a level three spell. 
Dang. Awesome. So, uh, Sandro Skeleton is going to take another shot at Cultist. 14 is a hit for four. And that Cultist drops to the ground dead. Nice. So Sandro is going to then walk down here. He sees that there's an acolyte bothering Reiko. And he is going to... I'm going to do Chill Touch. So you create a ghostly skeletal hand in the space of where a creature is within range. Okay, spell attack. Um, and there's no checks on that. That is just a hit. Which an eight actually doesn't hit, so. So we're back to Nami. Chill touch failed. Okay. Um, I'm assuming he attacked uh, the one last guy, right? In front of Rako, this one? Yeah, he was trying to, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go attack him. And I'm going to use my sacred flame. Okay. Is that is that a hit? Oh, we don't know yet, right? That is a deck save. Yep, it is it for been. 11. Is he dead? And he is not dead. Jeez. Oh, this guy. Actually, he had not been hit yet. OK. okay and here. spiritual weapon misses at a 9. I guess that's my turn. All right, Rico. Shoot. All right. Um. I think potion is a bonus action. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take. Do, 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 do. I'm going to take a greater healing potion. Okay. Two. Oh boy, it's been a bit since I've done this. That is going to be a forty-four plus four. Forty-four. Okay. Hang on, got a couple of Ugh. crits in there. 16. Okay. Nice. Just... Oof. It's getting low. <laughs> Still, eh, but okay. Um, that'll do for now. I'm just gonna punch this cultist that apparently is impervious to death. <laughs> we'll see about that. And that's a hit. And then extra monk attack. Well, before before you do that, oh. you you punch him in the chest, and he yes, he falls dead. He's Sweet. Not okay, what else is going on around me here? That's oh, everything. In, everything inside's been cleared. Okay. So and Leosin I says to, says to you guys in there. He's like, we've got to take care of this. <laughs> GM, quick out of character. I don't know if you saw my type question, but pre-stream, Reiko would have been following cultists to a warehouse. Has she ever seen a full-blown dragon before? No. I didn't think so. Okay. So my turn? Well, actually, no, I take that back. You would have seen the one at Greenest. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. Um, I guess I will pop out. <laughs> I'm going to kind of stay tucked by the wall and just kind of assess the situation. So I don't really want to be running up and punching a dragon. That just doesn't seem very smart. Yeah, you, you maybe pull out and take a look, and Leosin says... 
Well, Rico, what's your plan on this one? Hmm. I do the like little boop over the side of the wall. Look, look at Leos and be like, I don't know, man, and just like boop back over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, Tom's point, make a hide check. Should I? Well, no, no. My suggestion was, like, you know, <laughs> make a hide check. Maybe you can get somewhere with that before the dragon sees you. I gotcha. I'll just stay where I'm at, you know, back to the wall, just like, uh. <laughs> That guy's big. He's a big boy. <laughs> a big boy. So we're up to Jim and definitely Jim and Nami and, and and some of you guys, actually all of you. You can see with the acolytes over there, mm -hmm. they're they're clearly like issuing commands to this thing. They're like waving their hands in the air and then kind of pointing at you guys, and so it's it's on. Okay. Um. So, I'm thinking the best thing would be to take out the ones commanding the dragon. So, I am going to hit, let's see, how about how far apart are these guys? They're 10 to 15 feet apart. So, I'm going to... use my last oh you said 10 to 15 yep okay um no i'm not gonna do that <sighs> i'm going to hit them with oh this doesn't work so many times five feet of each other that won't work either Okay, I'm going to use Magic Missile. I'm going to go after... Um, the red one. Yeah. Um, only. Actually, no. I'm going to split between the red and the pink. Because I'm going to use it at a level 2. Oh, it didn't ask me what level I wanted to use it as. A um, a level incre increased, yeah, the increased level just means more darts. Right, so I'm going to split two darts to the right and two darts to the pink. Okay. So I hit this three more times then, right? Because I did one. Correct. Yep. Two, three, four. Okay. Wow, those were low rolls. That was one, awful. That was a waste. One. The, the, those last three were all ones. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awful. Okay, so four. <laughs> so six, six to red. And four to pink or purple. Oh yeah, I guess he's more purplish than he is. So I'm frustrated. I'm starting to feel the effects of the spicy noodles. Oh, and <laughs> and lack of sleep. <laughs> and I'm very frustrated about this. So, yeah. And with that, we'll have to <laughs> handle the dragon next week. Oh, Woo, man. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> I'm a cliffhanger, cliffhanger. <laughs> dun dun dun. Oh, oh dun, man. Dun. Well, thank all of you for joining us tonight. We hope you enjoyed it. And uh, be sure to come back next week when we will take on the dragon. And I uh, hope you all have a great week. Tomorrow's Monday for most people. So yeah, thank you guys. I will see you guys next week. Yeah. Mm. Thank y'all. I've got to I've gotta go. Bye. All right. So uh, thank you, everybody, and we will see you all next week. I will uh, close out stream with our song from <laughs> Jeff Kurtnacker. Yep. <laughs> I don't have a... Uh... Oh, yeah, there we go. And <laughs> here goes the song. <laughs>